It might seem simple to wire your batteries in series to boost your voltage, but this can lead to imbalances, failures and a headache down the road. I'm Nick, author of Off-Grid Solar Power Simplified with over 2000 reviews. In this short video, I will show you why wiring batteries in series is a bad idea and a better way to design your system. First, let's take a look at what happens inside a lithium battery. A 12 volt lithium battery is made up of four 3.2 volt cells connected in series, giving you 12.8 volts. Each battery has a built-in battery management system, or BMS, that keeps the voltage of these cells balanced, but only within that battery. Over time, the voltage of these cells in series will start to drift away from each other because of different internal resistance of the cell. The BMS inside the battery will balance the cells so they are brought back to the same voltage. Balancing starts at 90% state of charge, so it's important to occasionally fully charge your batteries to maintain a balance. Let's see what happens if you wire two batteries in series. If you connect two 12 volt batteries in series for a 24 volt system, the BMS in each battery only monitors its own cells. It cannot see what's happening in the other battery. Here's the problem. Battery one could be at 13.3 volts or 80% charge, while battery two sits at 13 volts or 50% charge. Your system only sees the combined 26.3 volts and thinks it's charged at 65%. It has no idea that one battery is significantly more charged than the other. A battery balancer can help. It detects the state of charge in each battery and shifts energy between them to keep the voltages even. Problem solved, right? Not quite. Here's why it's not a good design. More components and more complexity. You'll need extra wiring and a balancer, which complicates your system. Exact matching is required. In a series configuration, all batteries must be the same age, brand and cycle count to avoid imbalances. While in parallel, batteries naturally balance, so mismatches are less of an issue. Failure risk. If one battery in the series connection fails, the entire battery is compromised. Imagine you want a 48 volt 100 amp hour battery. You can use four 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries wired in series with a balancer and extra wires for the series connection. Or you can use a single 48 volt 100 amp hour battery. This battery has 16 cells in series all balanced by its internal BMS. No external balancer is required. The same logic applies to 24 volt systems. Use a single 24 volt battery with eight cells managed by its internal BMS. Fewer components, fewer headaches. If you want to increase capacity, add batteries in parallel. For a reliable and balanced system, avoid wiring batteries in series whenever possible. Instead, get a higher voltage battery and wire in parallel. Check out my website where I list several off-grid solar diagrams, free to use. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.